These steelworkers say they refuse to watch their city be torn apart. So this is their solution. They call themselves the Volunteer People's Patrol of Maripol and are working alongside police to regain control of the streets. Because people themselves need to stand up and create order in the city. Because we're responsible for this city, no one will come and help us. And if murderers appear, you can't get rid of them. Pro-Russian separatists have already left Mariupol's city administration building, which bears the scars of their occupation. But steel factory executives who are encouraging their workers to patrol the streets say the separatists are now on side. We signed a memorandum and it was signed by all respected public administrations of the city, all management of the city, from all sides, including representatives of the Donetsk People's Republic. But it appears the message hasn't gotten through. The governor of the self-declared People's Republic of Donetsk says he hasn't signed any agreements with Mariupol steel executives. And these people here, Mariupol locals, say they are also being kept out of the loop. Some of them support the Donetsk People's Republic, others just want more say in the fate of their city. People want information because right now we don't have any. All the information coming from Kiev is distorted. They take facts and put their own interpretation on them. Others say men patrolling the streets are fine, but accuse oligarch Renat Akhmetov, who owns the steel companies, of using them for a PR exercise. The patrols are a visible force, with 20,000 steel workers signed up to take part. And with hundreds of thousands employed by the metal and mining industry in the region, they could well steer the course of this conflict. Kim Vanell, Al Jazeera, Mariupol.